What's going on YouTube and AJZ fans or TeamAJZ.Weebly.com viewers? I want to ask you a question. Are your workouts long enough or are they too short? Stay tuned. I'll have the answers. Hey, AJ, what you think about how long I should work out? So when it comes to working out, a lot of people think have to do more or how much more should I do you know this is a concept that can really be debated all day long you know people say well if you're on gear it makes a difference if you're natural it makes a difference but really I think the main difference is how long are you sleeping what kind of supplements are you taking not in terms of gear what kind of food are you eating how often are you eating? How many calories are you having a day? Are you in a caloric deficit or are you in a caloric surplus? How do you feel? You know, these are all questions that can relate to the idea of how am I working out too short or too long? If your recovery is on point, then maybe add a few more sets. If your recovery is behind and you just can't seem to recover quick enough, then maybe you're just doing too much or you're just not eating enough, sleeping enough, or taking the right supplements. So what I want to ask you today is how long are you working out? You can comment below and let me know. But it's really not about how long. It's about how well. How well are you exercising? How well are you performing, you know, your rest? How well are you, you know, performing the exercises? How well are you eating? How well are you doing all the things? And then you can ask this question, okay, after I'm doing all those things, correctly, if after I'm doing all those things properly, should I do more or should I do less? But when it comes in terms of, you know, people always are trying to ask me questions like, you know, why don't I just do, why don't I just do 40 million sets all the time? Why don't I just do a thousand sets all the time? Well, let me break it down. Your workouts should be probably, you know, I'm more lenient on this than others. I think they can go upwards of an hour and a half. Some people say, no, you can work out more than 45 minutes. I think they can go upwards of an hour and a half, two hours. But I think after two hours, if you don't get any food in, if you're not supplementing with stuff like uh, uh, creatine, the branch chains, and glutamine, you know, inside of your workout or having intra-workout carbs, you could start to go catabolic and actually start to do the opposite of what you're trying to do. Hence, you're breaking down the muscle during the exercise you know, it, you could go into a state where your muscles are just eating the muscle as a, as a fuel of energy to, you know, be able to keep going. So they're actually eating the muscle to keep going. So that's what's called catabolic. So you don't want to go catabolic. So if you're not eating right and if you're going too long all the time, you could be going catabolic, which is actually counterproductive. But overreaching and overtraining is a different topic for a different time. I like to say that so I can keep you guys tuned and watching so you stay Gucci with my YouTube channel. Um, but what I was saying was when we talk about the idea of how long, how much, you really just got to switch it up, you know. You got to build it up, you know. First start off with, let's take a, let's take a, let's take a, Let's take arms. You know, I don't even train arms anymore because they just they just grew for me because I trained them, you know, since I was nine years old. And, you know, I stopped training them within the last seven months, eight months or so. And I train them maybe every once in a while. But that's beside the point. For most people who, let's say their arms are a lagging point, you know, they want to do a thousand sets all the time, right? I know that that's what it's, you know, you want to. It's just... That's just not optimal because workouts need to be workouts need to be in that time frame. I'm not saying, okay, it's an hour and a half, gotta leave the gym. I mean sometimes that's good because, you know, it kinda keeps you in a it, it keeps you in a time frame of okay, I wanna be done in this amount of time, but if you, you know, have a couple more sets left and you said you wanted to be out in an hour and a half, you know, just you know, it's fine. But when you look at it, if your workouts are taking over two hours and you're doing drop sets, supersets, and all that, they're too long so what you need to do is you need to periodize them down you need to start back out with you know 8 to 12 sets per body part and then slowly build up because muscles grow through not only becoming you know being pushed to 
longer and better sessions and also more overloading on the muscle, which is heavier weights. So if you're not progressively getting more, then you're also not improving. But also at the same time, if you're always doing, you know, so many sets, your body not only becomes accustomed to that and you have to do more, but doing more at that point is not optimal because you're actually still just breaking down that in particular body. So what I'm trying to say to you is just periodize down, go eight sets, you know, 15, 20, and then slowly build up and then you can do all these drop sets, giant sets, supersets. But when that stuff doesn't keep your workout in a timely point, then it's time to start periodizing back down and build back up. So you don't want to go from, okay, I'm at 40 sets right now and it's taking me two and a half hours. So now I'm going to want to do, you know, uh, five hours. You know, it, it doesn't work like that. So you got to do it smart. You got to do it properly. You got to break it down. You got to build it up. You got to switch it up. You got to keep it going. You got to make sure they're short and long. Do both, you know, and just shock the muscle. Keep it going. You know, show it that it doesn't know necessarily what's going to happen next. So I hope this helped you guys figure out whether if your workouts are too long or too short, or if you should start breaking them down into periodization, or if you should start raising your volume, or if you should start doing this or that. So if you have any questions, comment below. Send me an email at drewziggler at charter.net, Z-I-E-G-L-E-R. You can find me on Facebook at Andreas Ziegler. You can find me on my website at teamajz.weebly.com. And you can also find me on the Instagram and Twitter at AJZ1818. I will be glad to answer your questions. And I actually kind of just did these video series because every day I'm just getting so many emails and so many questions and so many messages saying, what do you think about this? Or what do you think about that? And, you know, I was like, all right, I'll start making videos. So... If you guys have questions, shoot me a shoot me a thingy, and I'll get back to you, or I'll just make a I'll just make a YouTube on it. So stay tuned and stay watching, and let's get freaking.